hey guys, excuse my absence these last couple days. Uh, my brother-in-law and his wife uh, had had their first little baby, so I am officially an uncle now. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, preoccupied a little bit of our time this week, but um, mama and baby are doing good, so they uh, they finally get to go home, and that means we are getting back to a little bit of a normal Planko schedule. So uh, yeah, no more running up to the hospital in the uh, in the afternoon. So yes, we continue our march on with the Mars Park. You know, it was weird. Probably about a week ago, I got really demotivated with it. Um, I think because the roof was, it was like something psychological with me. Like the, the I remember I showed you a couple screenshots of the roof being over the main area and the coaster and everything. And it looks really, really awesome. But something about like, I, like I felt like that area wasn't done yet. But with the roof being over top of it, it, it kind of like it was supposed to be done. And I don't know, it, it was really putting me in a weird little funk. Like I was like this, I don't even want to go into the Mars map. This isn't right. Like this, this thing shouldn't be covered yet. So I, I got one of the old saves out um, because I kind of a good thing about this and another thing you two you might want to um, consider too is uh, I've always said do multiple saves so if you have to go back or if you have a crashed game file you can't um, you can't get into um, I name them protect save so like the one that I reverted back to on this map was I had it named August Protect Save. And it was from like August 1st. So it was before I really um, brought the uh, roof over completely. So I, th I told myself, like, I'm like, I know I need a reset on this map. Like, something needs to happen so I don't get into this weird state like I was, like, pre-Wilderness Springs. Remember where I would start up a bunch of projects or a bunch of parks and, you know, I would get you guys all excited for an episode or two and then I would abandon it? Well, uh, you know, behind the scenes uh, reality check here, I would, um, I would just get too, um, I, I would just get bored with it couldn't come up with any new ideas rushed it so if you ever see any weird little projects like that that's probably what happened I just uh just I got lazy with it lost inspiration on it and uh just you know not that I decided to quit filming in it a lot of times I just stopped building it all together so you know that's that just it happens sometimes it's a you can call it a little bit of my creative process or whatever have you or you know a little bit of laziness mixed in but I don't know sometimes I just get bored with this stuff and uh, but luckily using that protect save and getting the roof back off of this park and going in and just like little things like you saw at the beginning of the time lapse of going in and putting the glass protection um, over that bridge uh, really really helped um, kind of get the juices flowing again and then I thought like you're seeing right now, I said, let's get a second coaster going. And really kind of um, the inspiration behind this was if you guys have been keeping up with Mass Bandits, uh, his peer series, um, he, he started a Euro fighter on there um, about a week or so ago. And that kind of is really what has pushed me into thinking like, you know, let's, let's do a Euro fighter over here. It's, it's a little futuristic looking and it's got a, it's got a good vibe to it. I can, I can create it without having, you know, too giant of a lift hill because remember, as far as this roof goes, you know, this part over here, the tallest a coaster can be is like 84 feet. So if it's any taller than 84 feet, it sticks up out of the roof. So I definitely had to play with the uh, with the friction a little bit on this to kind of make this happen. But, um, you know, I, after playing with it enough, I finally got it to work. Um, got a pretty good layout going. This coaster will not have a Mars layout. It's more of like a serpent kind of themed. And you'll see here um, later on when we jump into the... Um, We'll jump into the real time view that I uh, I build another little bridge with a pass over or with a pass under uh, actually and I don't know I, I'm really kind of caught up in that right now and you'll notice that's my style on everything with Planet Coaster like I totally overdo stuff and when I find something that looks cool I like murder it and I you know I, I'll wear it out here for a couple weeks but um, yeah so I, I made another little bridge that will have a pass over area. Um, over here on the other side of this coaster 
and I think it comes out really cool. So I, I love that element, like when the little guests and stuff can walk over the coaster. And uh, so yeah, this layout right here, it changes out a little bit. It changes a couple times because I just kind of, uh, I run out of speed a little bit and um, it just, uh, you know, I, I was repeating elements a little too much. So that's kind of when I come up with this little idea of, I thought, ah, oh, yes, let's have another bridge transition area and let's have this coaster um, go under the path. So you'll see when it's done. It actually, it actually, uh, I loop it back around here in a minute and it comes back under the path twice and then kind of makes its way over um, into its final little break run. And don't ask me how I got the path to work this way. I don't know. I know I know. What one tip I could give you if you're running into trouble with paths, even though it doesn't have anything to do with tunneling, if you will click that auto tunnel button, a lot of times it will let you put the path where you want to put it. It won't uh, it, it won't stop you. So that is a little, little tip from your boy S. Dan Wolf that if you're running into a problem, click that auto tunnel um, little, little tab and sometimes that will fix your problem. But um, yeah, so this is, a, this is a pretty cool little coaster after you make your way through the market and um, it, the eye sights, the everything lends itself pretty well to coming down the main street over there and being able to see this kind of creeping up over the monorail line. And of course, you'll be able to see the, you know, the, uh, the beyond, the beyond, uh, the beyond vertical uh, drop there. You'll be able to see that from coming down the street. And the cool thing is, like, I guess from a merch standpoint, you will you you have to go through the market and all of that and past all those restaurants and and drink stalls and stuff to get back here to this section of the park so um that you know kind of like i said continuing with our theme park uh slash walmart you know, remember i've always said about walmart putting uh the, the the bread and the milk and stuff to the back of the store so you have to walk by everything else before you get to typically the one thing you go in there for so that's kind of what we're doing with these coasters in the back of the park we kind of make them go by everything else and uh yeah get back here to the to the really cool stuff but we still have our cool little um torque coaster up front to kind of gauge everybody and just kind of get everybody hyped up right in here actually right here is where i do my little see click the little tunneling thing and bam, we have our little pass over. So that just, uh, yeah, that just ended up working out really, really cool. And um, so, you know, you just have to uh, just give me your, give me your guys' thoughts on this coaster. We'll, we'll jump into the, uh, into the real time in a minute. But um, one thing I, I definitely didn't want the park to lack was a good selection of coasters. Um, next thing, what were we talking about? Oh, my buddy Patrick said we need to get uh, some spaceships going in here. Um, because I think like, you know, um, Mike from, uh, bro coaster in seven and those guys are kind of like e the park, like uh, the, the, a lot of the feedback I'm getting from this park is the park is really, really cool, but it's lacking a lot of that theme that makes us think we're on Mars. And I tend to agree with that a little bit, but at the same time, we're kind of looking, remember, like I said, we look at the, we've got to look at this Mars build like people have been on Mars for a very long time. So much so to the fact that people that come to this theme park um, actually live on Mars. So we, we've got to look at it like, um, we've got to look at it like in, in that standing, like people that live on Mars, you know, don't really care about Mars. They're coming for the theme park. They may more care about you know, funky earth-like theming or like we did with this with the snakes or the temples. And that is more what this park is geared for. Now, yes, you know, we wholeheartedly welcome our earth, our, um, you know, our earth visitors, but you look at this in the context of a Mars park to let Mars people escape that, you know, that, uh, that red, dry, arid, um, type of type of thing, you know, type of living that they're used to. So look at this park as like an immersion for the Mars people 
to escape uh, to escape to a land that they're not used to seeing every day. So when you're asking me for Mars theming, that's the thought behind why it's a little more subdued and a little more um, Earth-like themed. Because like I said, some of the people that come to this park may have never been to Earth. They may have lived on Mars their entire life. So look at this theme park, Olympus, as a as a gateway for them to experience um you know earth like theme park so you know that's kind of what we're rolling with on this but anyways let's go ahead and jump on out of here and we'll cruise around in real time a minute uh before i let you guys go and hopefully we get back into the swing of things um and we will get back to some normal recording. I don't know if I'll have a video out tomorrow, but um, I think this weekend we're going to jump back into our zombie Saturday for sure. And uh, I've got some other little planet coaster stuff that uh, that, that we're trying to do. And um, yeah, so let's just jump into the real time a minute and we will zoom around the park. Hey guys, so yeah, here we go. And uh, I have traded out uh, Optimus Prime for the next week or so with uh, Mufu T, uh, ATST. So, um, I don't really know whatever happened to Mufu T. Like, I think the last thing he posted on the workshop was way back in January, which really kind of sucks because he was one of my favorite, uh, favorite scenery and, uh, workshop creators. So, uh, Mufu T, if you're out there and you, uh, you see this video, we would love to have you back and start uh, making your awesome awesome pieces again so if you guys have any uh have any cool pieces that you think that i can showcase like this in a uh kind of like a, a camera photo spot capacity um send me a message and if i think i can find a good spot for it here in the park um we will put it down and put some fences around it and have a little attendant down here and yeah we will kind of roll with that so yeah if, uh, if you're still out there big thank you to mufu t for um for making these uh these awesome pieces available out there. Like I said, last time I think he posted a piece was January, I believe, 2017, maybe. The jump was the last thing that he ever created. So don't know if he's really around anymore playing this. But anyway, so yeah, this is the new little coaster out here. It's kind of, like I said, not 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 too big of a deal. Uh, a little compact, but what, like I said, what I like about it is as you're kind of making your way through here, kind of at guest level, and you're looking, you can kind of... Uh, yeah, actually, there it goes. You can kind of see the the little lift hill, and you can see the little zero G roll over here. Let's watch him go over it a minute. I've got the new glass up on the bridge. There goes the monorail. Let's see what kind of speed it's getting across that. Not too terrible. So it's not going across that too fast. It comes up and over. Yeah, I mean, it's got, I think it's got decent speed, like as for as far as especially like, how bad I suck at building coasters. That might get a little rough on them right there. That's about as smooth as I could get that. Okay, then they're coming across here. Back down under the path. Swoop back around here. Back under the path. Eh. I don't know that that little turn that little brake turn right there might break your neck, but you come into the you come into the station at a pretty decent speed. But yeah, like I said, I am not much on coaster building. Uh, the theming is more my realm, but um, I still have a lot of fun trying to build them. So yeah, the park has two coasters now. So I thought that is I thought that's pretty cool. That that really like I said it's. Uh, it's kind of kept me going. It's uh, it's brought me back in. It's got me remotivated, um, remotivated in the park here. And uh, yeah, so we will just kind of keep rolling with this. I've got a second set of lockers back here, right outside the uh, the Ripley's facade. I've brought in my old uh, Transformers facade, kind of like it's a an, an implied um, 3D dark ride in there. Got a little bathroom little bathroom attached to it and um yeah so that is kind of uh that is what we're rolling with here guys so now that we've kind of we're really making a lot of progress um just you know let me know your thoughts down below with how you think the uh how you think the park is shaping up and it's like i said it's pretty easy if i want to see how everything looks with the roof 
what I do is I kind of get down at this angle right here, get out my multi-selection tool, and I might capture a little bit of that building, a little bit of the resort. No, maybe not, not this time. Then all I have to do is click on my advanced move tool. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, advanced move tool. And see, I can kind of bring it back over here. And I can test different heights on things because obviously this, uh, you know, the whole, the whole park isn't going to have the, the pyramid. That's just kind of like this main little pyramid that goes over the first little section of the park when you, uh, when you come in. So this is kind of how it will look covered. So still really, really cool. And then if you come over here, even this should clear my little Euro fighter. So yeah, they should clear that. And then this actually, this actually probably won't have the shadows because like I was talking to a couple people, um, my buddy, wow, man. And a lot of you guys that have chimed in about the, uh, about the park and the, uh, in the glass, um, the glass, the glass is going to be in certain sections. So the, the whole thing isn't going to be a glass dome like this main part will be. And then, um, you will have different sections of just plain, uh, gray roof and then maybe transitions into the glass again. So the whole thing won't be glass, but just the, uh, the main area, like the, the highlighted parts, um, will have that cool, glass effect and I can't remember which one of you all said it but um one of the guys was like you you really need to incorporate the uh the custom um the custom supports in your uh in your roof support so that I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm not really ready to work to show the new supports yet because I've got a little bit of a design going um, but that's going to incorporate more of the custom supports with that with that steel beaming, and I think it'll give it a little more realistic type of uh, you know real realistic type of support that you think you would need to um, hold up you know such a, a such a, a massive glass structure. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of just kind of have to see how that goes. Still kind of tinkering with that a little bit. Um, you know, really happy with how the. Uh, with how the market came out. I'll show you. I know I've shown you in some uh, in some flybys, but this is kind of what the market will look like to the little guests as they come walking in. You've got the alien statue right there. Then you've got the little robot guy. He's over here messing around. You've got these kind of like aliens and troopers. You've got these little fruit vendors right here. Um, as you're making your way up here, I've got these little drats or whatever sleeping over here on this hay. I've got the big bug crawling around. We've got some uh, snakes over here in the glass pins, some little scorpions. Uh, we've got some little larva up here. And we've got a big hippo kind of just chilling over here behind this little fence. And all of it just goes with that like creepy alien type vibe. Um, got a pip shot here on the end. Got a restroom. Um, still got to light up Ripley's and, uh, you know, obviously work on some lighting out this way and on that path. But um, worked on a lot of lighting right here. Um, whoops. Got it. Got the main street pretty lit up. Got some, I got some, uh, some fireflies down. I don't know if they'd have fireflies like on Mars in here, but I guess as far as being in the dome, it's okay. So I uh, started lighting up the entrance to my uh, my contemporary resort over here. So that is pretty cool. Need to need to still work on some work on that and get some get some details hammered out um, leading up to the entrance of the coaster right here. Got a pretty good bit of lighting in. Need to work on some lighting on the actual coaster that I had. Um, but this was, remember that what I said earlier, this was that um, kind of like that pre, um, the pre-save, the, the save from um, August 1st. Might even not, it might have been even before August 1st. This might have been like July 28th um, before I did a lot of that lighting. So, you know, I still got, you know, I still got to go back in there and redo that lighting but um, coming along really, really well. I mean, who who would have thought that me just, 
you know, just kind of coming up with a really kooky, wacky idea with your guys' help. Let's do an indoor Mars park um, that it would turn out this cool. So, yeah, thank you guys for your support and never being, um, you know, never being too out of it or too condescending to my weird ideas. Like, pretty much whatever I want to come up with, you guys are always like, yeah, go for it. Let's let's just see. It's it's not going to hurt to try. So I love that that kind of you guys approach this stuff with the same kind of attitude I have as of, you know, nothing is too crazy. If, if you can make it look cool, let's do it. Who cares? So that um, you're all's attitude towards this type of stuff, um, I think it really helps me. So anyways, guys, yeah, um, give me a big thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content. And we will just continue to roll with our little Mars experiment here. Let me know what you think about this new, uh, new little coaster over here and we will continue work on it. And yeah, guys, I am checking out of here. So I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.